Welcome indecisive Libras. For those of you that are strong enough to admit it. <laughs> Welcome to the Gifted Hermit, yeah. Shouts out to everybody. All my newbies. Right. The Magician. Ruled by the planet of Mercury. Um, guys, are you using your initiative? I'm all about the illustration. Can you see the wand in his hand? Things are really not going my way today, but we shall keep on. The wand in his hand, guys. Right, the fire in your gut. <laughs> Using your initiative, as I was saying, and that's physically, yeah? Literally going for it. He's also got the cups and the pentacles and the swords. So it's about using everything, all the aspects in life. Um, it's about having awareness. So you guys are using your initiative as well as using your awareness. As well as taking action with the physical. Um... The ability to manifest. The magician is a beautiful card. It's also about having like an idea. A fantastic idea. Pulling stuff out the back. Tricks out of the bag as it were. Because these are the powers that are within the magician. Right? <laughs> Um, focusing on a goal as well. Perhaps some of you guys are focusing on a goal. It symbolises also um, the bridging effect between the inner and the outer of you. So inside, you know, your dreams and your fantasies, what you're able to accomplish. Moving on, we have Two of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. The High Priestess. <laughs> All these twos. I knew I knew something was sticking behind there. The Knight of Pentacles will come back to you, sir. Temperance. Ace of Wands. Going back to the Magician. There's definitely ideas brewing here, right? Action that's going to be taken. King of Cups, reversed. So we'll definitely come back to these two. Can you see the power of two here on your spread? And it's so ironic, right, with you guys being the scales. Please hit the like button if I've resonated. I mean, but, <laughs> yeah, please hit the like button, comment. Because, like I said, the irony here is you guys are Libras, right? And you guys can be indecisive. Some of you guys wouldn't admit it. But most of you know that, yeah, you can be indecisive. And what I like about Libras as well, you guys have a lot of friends. And you have a lot of friends because you're not the type of character to take sides, right? You can see both sides of a situation, as it were, so maybe you are in a position right now <laughs> which requires you to use all, all your chakras, everything needs to be aligned, the way you think, the way you act, the way you feel, right, the way you do, the who's, the why's, the what's, the where's, I hope I'm making sense here. But we question ourselves as humans and I think, yeah, there's a lot of uh, questioning here. 
about what to do. Some of you might be, um, some of you guys might be in a position where you're trying to figure out what job to choose, right? Or what lover to choose, right? This manifestation that you've had here, you're trying to, um, with the high priestess, you've got ideas and you want to put them into fruition, right? And it could be related to the work aspect or the love aspect. <laughs> One requires patience with the temperance and balance. The sign of Sagittarius. I always go to her feet as she has one foot in the water and one out. Right? Tread carefully, dear friends. One requires patience and a balance of emotions. <laughs> I mean, this advice that I'm giving you is like, this is you. <laughs> so... I'm giving you advice that you'd probably give others. Ace of Wands. There's going to be action here. There's definitely going to be action or um, this idea is going to, it's going to happen. This love's going to happen for those of you looking for whichever direction you choose. <laughs> but again, a lot of thinking. Some of you are, as in the illustration, you know when you can't sleep at night because a thousand things come to mind before we go to bed sometimes. And we have so much to give to the world. The best ideas, I think, come to us when we, um, just before we sleep. That's why we should always have a note, pen and pad to pay, um, to hand right next to our bedside table knight of pentacles this is someone that uh, gives security reliable very traditional as well could be an admirer perhaps you've got a um, an earth sign in your lives with the knight of pentacles the king of cuts reversed um Perhaps one's having uh, issues with their emotions. Again, I, I do feel it's like almost which way to turn. <sighs> Trying to keep a balance of your emotions, right? Not get too hasty or carried away. You know, sometimes new love or uh, new atmospheres. We get excited, don't we? We feel like a kid again. So perhaps not to um, get too carried away. Let's get some clarifier cards going. You can listen to my music as well a little bit. I'll turn it up for you. I actually made this music. See if you like it. It's on a loop, so it will come back around again. You know, it's not for everybody, but I like it. There was one song that um, there was one uh, track that I made that a lot of people asked me. Taurus always comes up as well for Libras. I know there's a Taurus in your life. I think you guys like, you like the traits in a Taurus, you know? They don't take no, they don't take no for an answer. 
and they can be quite feisty both men and women but in a good way you know they have uh, they have um I don't know how to say it. They mean no harm as much as they tease and stuff. <laughs> right. Divine guidance. This is the Taurus card, right? The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. And that is definitely... um the. the the Taurus person, they are, they can be all about their morals, you know. So, only you guys would know. But this, I'll definitely, 12, this is uh, something requires patience here, darling. And that's probably going to be the, the title of this video. Something requires patience. The angel cards uh, show you that <laughs> in a positive aspect. There is a better way. There's a better way, right? Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So perhaps, I don't know. I don't know. And um, one is not going to... One is going to be honest right now because it's late at night. This card actually does not represent. I thought it did because with the 12, I've got quite a lot of decks here. I thought it was um, Sag, right? Because Sag is December. But no, in fact, this is the hanged man. So there's going to be change perhaps, right? Or maybe you're in limbo again with uh, which way to go. <laughs> there's got, there's going to be a change in priorities as well. There's going to be um, seeing life from a different angle with the hanged man, right? As you can see him there hanging. Taking a step back. So maybe we need to take a step back, guys. Maybe we need to do you. Who likes to be pulled in uh, two different directions? I certainly don't. But it's a very mysterious card, for sure. Um, first impressions count as well. But ultimately, you need to let go of emotional baggage. Perhaps, right? With the King of Cups as well. You need to let go of what's not serving you. Because your emotions are perhaps not aligned right now. You are being pulled in two directions. Who knows? Um, let me know. Let me know what's up, guys. Let me know what's happening. Let me know which, uh, which one you go for. Good over evil. <laughs> I do um, air signs every Wednesday. So expect your videos every Wednesday, right? Love, peace and light from the Gifted Hermit to wherever you are in the world. Ciao, ciao. Until next time.